Hey everyone, this is June from Turning Point Life Investment. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the different stages that a stock goes through. Uh, more specifically, contraction and expansion. Now one of the indicators that I use to kind of help me visualize between what stage it is in is the Bollinger Bands. Now let's use Kellogg as our example here. You can see how when the bands expand, that's when we know that the stock is impulsing or it's making its move. Kind of like what it's doing right there. Now, when a when the bands kind of contract or narrow, that's when you know a stock is uh, correcting or it's going through a consolidation phase. Once that is done, then you know it will have to impulse or move again. Okay, so you can see how it alternates between expansion, contraction, expansion, contraction. Uh, recently, we have a period of expansion. Notice how the bands widen. But now, currently, guess where we are right now? We are in a period of contraction, and guess what follows, right? Uh, naturally, what happens is it will have to expand, okay? A stock will have to come out and play eventually, right? It can't stay uh, within the consolidation phase forever. The only thing is we're not too sure whether it will expand upwards or downwards. And this is where you kind of have to look at the overall market and also the overall trend of this stock. Uh, looking at this stock, you can see how it's making higher highs and higher lows, which means it's in, an up, it's in an uptrend. And there's really no signs that it's showing any kind of reversal yet. So the path of least resistance means that the expansion will most likely continue higher. Of course, the only thing that, will, that might alternate this or that might change this is uh, news or any unexpected reports or news. Uh, as you know, Kellogg is reporting earnings tomorrow, so that might be a factor or some kind of catalyst that will drive this stock either higher or lower. And you will notice that with a lot of stocks where uh, before some kind of report or even before, or before earnings, um, they will go through a period of contraction, meaning that their traders are not sure exactly where to push the stock yet, and they need a reason, uh, whether it's news or earnings, to uh, start nibbling or to get an idea, a feel of where do they want to take this stock. So as an option trader, this might be a great candidate for, uh, for example, for straddles or for strangles where it, it is in a tight consolidation and it will benefit for a large move uh, for your option positions. So those two strategies are great for this type of setup where a, a stock is in uh, contraction mode. Also, if you're a trader and you like to trade breakouts or you like to anticipate breakouts, uh, this is also a very good type of setup where uh, the stock hasn't moved yet, but it's about to move. Uh, so this will be something that I would keep my eye on if I'm uh, specifically looking for some type of breakout trades.